Hey everybody, welcome to TPG's World. It's me, TPG, and it's the 23rd of April, 2018, and I'm here to make a video and answer that question, where in the hell have you been? What's going on, TPG? And it seems like i got to do these videos every so often, but let me explain what's been going on. As you know, I was doing a play, directing a play here in my community theater, and that kind of took up some of my time. Uh, in that capacity with dress rehearsals and rehearsals and then every weekend I was at the theater and stuff like that and it just kind of exhausted me and so I did do a live stream on the two Saturdays I even live stream from the theater if you didn't get a chance to see that on closing night I did did uh, do a live stream from there so check those out I did not however get to do my live streams with Doug on Sundays and Doug Douglas Fairchild I do apologize to you and we will get back to those as soon as possible I just had to get this theater stuff behind me. And then I had some stuff going on in my personal life. Um, just a lot of things in my life that were emotional, physical, financial, spiritually, everything. You know, I quit smoking, and since I quit smoking, I've gained a lot of weight. Probably about a good 15 pounds. And if you hear on my video, I'm like... <sighs> It's not that I'm it's, it's I'm out of shape. It's not that I can't breathe or anything like that. It's just I'm out of shape because I gained so much weight. Because since I quit eating, I mean smoking, I've just been eating and eating and eating and eating. So I'm going to be going to the doctor and getting on a diet and all that kind of stuff on May 5th. So I'm glad about that. So that's why y'all hear me breathing like that in the videos. It's not that I'm dying or have any kind of condition. It's just I have gained a lot of weight, which I knew would happen when I quit smoking. But I'm very proud of myself because this is the longest I've gone for not smoking but anyway i was really feeling down and, and i go through a, a form of depression that well, i'm trying to think how to explain it i basically push just i basically keep it inside of me and i kind of turn into an ass sometimes and um i sometimes just really try not to let it out and it sometimes it can make me just different so I kind of try to stay away at times with that. And with my dad right now, it's been really, really hectic in a lot of ways. Um, just with him in general and a lot that's going on with him, you know, I think he is starting to get in the early stages of dementia. He's constantly feeling um, lonely. And when I go over there, the last time I was over there, I went there for a five-minute conversation that became a four-hour argument with all of us where he's told me that he wished I wasn't born, that he's hated me and resented me my whole life, told my brother and sister he hated them. He's constantly fighting with my sister. So it was just this nightmare. When your father tells you that he hates you and all this stuff, and then the next day he calls me and he's like, I didn't really mean that. And then he wants to go shopping and he buys me a copy of this movie I want. And he's trying to buy me all this stuff. And I'm like, Dad, you know what? You don't have to buy me anything to apologize you know so it's just been this nightmare of, of thing and then doing this play on top of that and then trying to balance YouTube I, you know I had to just kind of lay back on one thing and I love YouTube and I do guys and I'm so sorry I haven't been here but I just needed to kind of kick back and just take a breather and, and figure out what's wrong with me um, and as I said, I am going to the doctor. I'm going to get, you know, checked. I, I'm on my blood pressure medicine. Hopefully I'll be on a diabetic, a diabetes medicine because I said I'm pre-diabetic. And hopefully I'm on the, the right track. Now, as far as my life goes, you know, as you guys know, I, as I said, I was financially, really struggling financially. And I have been for a while. And I've been making it. And I always believe that God will provide for you and things like that. And I wasn't about to get on YouTube and be like going into all my personal stuff. So I decided one thing. And, and, and this is what a philosophy that I'm going to now live by, besides the hating is a disease. I really truly believe that life does not come with a remote control. you got to get your ass up and change it. So I, with that being said, I finally thought, you know what, Bradley, the only way you're going to fix this situation is to fix it. So I had, as I told a lot of you, I applied for a job this summer working in education in, in a summer program and a summer reading camp for children, uh, special needs children and for children. And today I found out that I got that job, so I'm very, very excited about that. So I'm going to be spending my summer. It's only five weeks of my summer. It's only four days a week. It's really good money. It's from like 7.30 in the morning till 2 in the afternoon. And I'm just really, really excited about it. So that is the one thing that was started that positivity of, of getting that change. And I've been praying really hard for these changes and what was going to happen and things like that. So thank you, God, for that. I'm so excited. And thank you to all of y'all who have been praying about that and thinking about it. 
So then I thought, well, I got to figure out something else to do because I'm so far behind in my in, in my medical bills. Having surgery and all kind of really threw me. You know, I got medical bills coming up my wazoo and stuff. So I went back. As you know, I used to work part time for Dunkin' Donuts. Now let's not get it confused because a while back somebody tried to say I worked for Dunkin' Donuts. It was not in education. It is a lie. I did work part time for Dunkin' Donuts. I did, and I don't deny that. I absolutely did work there, and I loved it. And I had to quit because of some people. But I was found out that they were hiring, so I went up there today and spoke with the manager. She's a, she knows me from another store, but she knows when I used to work there. And she hired me back, so that's going to be fun. I'm going to be working there at, on nights and weekends, and it'll be fun to be back there. I really enjoyed that place. I really liked the job, and it, it closes at 9, so I'll be home at like 9.30. So that was a really great thing. So now I'm going to have this extra money over the summer. I'm going to be working two jobs, just kind of getting myself together, because I hate not working, guys. I've worked since I was 17 years old. Or no, 15 years old. So I've always been working and working and working, and I just love to work. So I'm really, really, really excited about that. I feel good about my health. I feel good about not smoking. I hope that you know this works out. And even if it's just, even if I just stay at Dunkin' through the summer, between my regular paycheck, which yes, I do get paid during the summer for my regular job, and the extra job with the teach, with the, the working at summer school and doing the summer school program, and the Dunkin' Donuts money, I you know I should be okay to get get a head start on some of these medical bills. As far as my tooth goes, as you see, it's still hanging in there. Um, I have not been able to because trying to pay the medical bills save any money to towards trying to get my tooth fixed, and the doctor doesn't predict that it's going to stay in long, so I may have to work for that. I'm going to hopefully figure something out, but I believe that when the time is right for that, God and and Whatever it needs to come from, it'll come and it, it'll work itself out. Another great thing is I have been offered the chance to audition for a part in a, in a musical that I love very dearly. Um, a lot of you, if you look behind me, you'll see the poster for Hairspray. Hairspray is one of my favorite, favorite musicals ever. I directed the particular production that you see behind you. But I have been asked to, direct, to uh, audition for the role of Edna Turnblad, or as you guys know, her mama. She was played by John Travolta in the movie, as well as Harvey Firestein in the Hairspray Live. Uh, the director has been talking back and forth to me and really is interested in me uh, auditioning and possibly playing the role of mama. Um, how do I feel? I really want to do this. I got to just make sure that, you know, I can still work at Duncan and, and still get myself together. The auditions are in June, but they don't, rehearsals really don't start till August, so that's going to be fun. I think it'll be a, a, a great thing if I get the part. However, it's like an hour away, so that drive is going to be a little bit of a kicker in the butt, you know, because I'm, the play is not till the end of September, beginning of August, and he said rehearsals are like four nights a week, including Saturday, and that's like, oh, so... I'm going to go up there this weekend and see a musical, see how long it exactly takes me to get there, and I'm going to talk to the director and all before I actually make my mind up. I do intend to go to the auditions and find out um, when the audition dates are. Um, so with that being said, I'm excited about that. Um, yeah, so I'll keep you posted. If I get the role of Mama, oh my God, imagine how much fun that'll be. I can live stream from that theater and just share my mama experience with you and what I'm going to do I'm hoping if I get to part maybe I'll do a series of videos called Becoming Mama and I'll do a live stream about mama or something um, I'm going to be doing a giveaway soon um, be watching for my videos I'm going to talk about this movie here again The Greatest Showman um, which I love and I did a review on it earlier on my videos so watch for my uh, where I talk about this video you never know if I'm going to put a giveaway in that video you never know, so watch my videos. I'm going to be having a couple giveaways actually coming up, including um, one of my movie posters. But as I said, as you know, I always stick hidden giveaways in my videos. Uh, so watch them because you never know which one of my videos is going to be hidden. As far as that, thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you for sticking by me. You know, there came a time in this last couple of weeks that... I haven't done a video that I thought, you know, I was just not going to be able to do YouTube anymore, trying to balance everything. And I just, I just kind of got a little frustrated and I lost my mojo, but I'm back. I'm doing good. I just had to get myself together. And as you said, you know, life doesn't have that remote control. It's not like, you know, we can take life and, and change and change it because gosh knows that that's the way it is. I'd be, I would have, you know, been changing the channel a long time ago, you know, click, 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 click. But I had to get off the couch and do it myself. So that's what I'm titling this video and that's kind of how I feel. And, and I really do believe that to be true. 
if you are unhappy with your life, only you can change it. Only you can make changes. People can talk to you all they want to. People can try to help you all they want to. But if you're not willing to accept that help or you're not willing to make the necessary changes that need to be made in your life, your life's not going to change. And it's, it's just not going to change. So it's not going to do you any good. So remember, you make your destiny. No matter how bad your past is, your future can always be better. Your future can always be whatever you want it to be. You do control your life. You do control your fate. Only you can make those decisions, and you know what decisions are right for you. Do we always make the right decisions? Hell no. I have made terrible decisions in my life. As in relationships and all and everything, I've made terrible decisions. But I've made the best decisions. And the best part about it is that I've learned from it. And I've learned so much from these decisions. So in everything I've ever done, I've learned from it, rather it be anything. And, and I often say to people, you know, if you date somebody or you have a friend and your relationship with that friend breaks up or whatever, if you learn something from it, then that relationship was by far very worth it for you. So just always keep that in mind, okay? And anyway, guys, I'm going to get off of here because I want to get this video out so people wonder what's been going on. I will be back to live streaming. If you did not catch my live stream from the theater last Saturday, go and watch it. It's like 30 minutes long. It's just you get to see some of the actresses and some of the stuff that was going on backstage. It was recorded before a show. Um, anyway, guys, I love you. Remember, hating is a disease, and some folks need to get well soon. Um, I love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.